train won't be too loud. I, I have a pretty loud voice anyway. Um, and I would like to thank the chamber for putting this on. It's good to see everybody. You know, I, I haven't, I think I missed the last chamber event we had, and, and it's just been, it's been too long since I've gotten to see some of your faces. So it's really good to see everybody tonight. And so thank you very much for putting this on and, and the award. I'm, I'm deeply touched. You know, it's, we're just like everybody else. It's nice that, you know, somebody shows a little, you know, gives us that little bit of appreciation. It really means a lot to us. So thank you guys very much. Um, I'm just going to touch a little bit on what Representative Russo said. And, and I have to tell you, he's been great to work with. We kid around all the time with each other um, about the olden days when, when he may not have gotten the support from his from the old senator. But i got to tell you, he is great to work with. We work well together. And I think we do a good job of representing um, Wagner County and the people that live here. So usually if if I miss something, he's got it, you know, and, and so we complement each other. So I would like to thank him for all the effort he's put into our great working relationship and making sure that we take care of you guys. So thank you. And, and on the four subjects he talked about, um, a little bit more that I might touch on with that is, is I know that um, I was just reading an email this morning about our transportation and how, mu how much progress we've made in our highways. I think our big thing now is our bridges. We're still one of the worst states in the nation for our bridges. We've done a great job on spending a lot of money on our highways and bringing that infrastructure up. Part of the process that we've been trying to do to save money is we've taken some of the old um, bridge iron from Oklahoma City when we redid the um, I-40 through there and we're giving that to our um, rural towns to use in their bridges, trying to recycle some of that and, and save some money to really help us to bring that infrastructure up. So that's our, our next big focus on our transportation will be our bridges. I saw that the contract had been awarded for the bridge just north of town here to get that painted and to get some maintenance done on that. So I was glad to see that that was done. Um, Another thing, uh, because I'm the, the Chair of Health and Human Services Subapropes and I'm dealing with their budgets all the time, I get to sit in on the budget meetings for all of the agencies. Funding is a top priority with us in the state because we would like to either lower the income tax, you know, a, they have yet to show me that we can get rid of it and still provide services, but if we can lower it and still provide the services that we need by becoming more efficient, then I'm all for it. because. I'm a cheapskate, so <laughs> if I can do the same thing with less money, then that's the way I want to do it. One of the things that we're looking at doing is maybe um, line iteming our budgets more so that we have a little more control. I don't know if you guys realize, but when the legislature gives money to those agencies, right now we currently give them a lump sum. And then that agency is supposed to decide how it is spent. So. Education dollars don't always get down to the classroom where we think it should be. So we've decided that we're going to take a little more control over that and try to get those dollars down where we think they need to be. Um, they don't need to stay in Oklahoma City. They need to come out to the communities because that's where, where we pay our tax dollars. So that money needs to come right back out to our communities. Um, another thing is trying to get more of our tax dollars back from the federal government. I always argue with people that the money the federal government sends us is not the federal government's money. That's your tax dollars that we send up there. By some warped sense, they think we have to send them all of our money and then they get to divvy it back to us, but it's our money. It's the money that we've paid in in taxes. So I'm always working on trying to get every dollar back that we've sent them because those are our tax dollars that we've paid. So if I can do that, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. DHS has been <clears throat> a real priority for me in our veteran centers. Believe it or not, they have a lot in common. Um, we're trying to take care of our most neediest individuals, and we're not doing a real good job of it. There's a lot of bureaucracy involved, and there's a lot of people out there that just aren't doing the job they need to do. Um, so that's that's been kind of our top priority. We've we've been holding meetings all through the summer about our about our veterans agents and our, our agencies. I'll let this train pass for just a minute. Okay, we've been holding meetings all summer trying to um, find out what's going on in our veteran centers. I know you guys have probably seen 
the newspaper articles about where we've had some of our veterans uh, die in some of our centers and unnecessarily or out of neglect, just out of pure neglect. So there, we have really serious problems we've got to address. And then we have the same thing going on with our kids, with our DHS program. So 